Hello, Auxiliar here again. In this short video today, I will overview how to accomplish each achievement in Tropico 6. At the time of recording, there are 40 achievements in the game. Some of them are easier than others, so let's begin. I'm going to group the first series of achievements in one collection since these are all related to normal gameplay. Just complete the mission in the game at any difficulty level to get the following. For Penultimal of the Caribbean, you get the beginning of a Servant Ship achievement. For Speakeasy, you get the number 18 achievement. For Better Red Than Dead, you get the Caribbean Comrade achievement. For Chocolate Factory, you get the Dreamer of Dreams achievement. For Pirate King, you get the Legend of Langostio achievement. For Tropical Land, you get for Science Achievement. For Ball Game, you get the Go Sovereigns Achievement. For Acts of God, you get Happy Ending. For Concrete Beach, you get Of Seals and Men Achievement. For Shack Land, you get Shackadelic. For Super Power Defense, you get Firestarter. For The Referendum, you get Apocalypso. For Beer or Crazy 2.0, you get Computer Says No Achievement. For the One Percenters, you get Beware the Batman. And for Battle Royale, you get Viva Tropico Achievement. This rounds out the completed mission achievements. The next accomplishment is Been There Done That. This is where you complete all missions. So complete each mission on easy difficulty and you will get this achievement. The next achievement is just one more term. This is as simple as spending five hours playing Tropico 6. As long as you complete all the missions, you should get to the five hours of gameplay easy. The Promising Endeavors achievement is where you perform 500 raids across all games. You could achieve this on a sandbox map by just setting the reoccurring missions for the Pirate Cove, Commando Garrison, Spy Academy, and Cyber Operations Center. You should achieve this fairly easy by just playing the Battle Royale missions enough. The Terraformer achievement is when you generate 15 random sandbox maps. If you are in a hurry to complete this, just create a random map, quit the game after a couple seconds, and repeat this process 14 more times. The My Ways achievement is when you end 50 protests by force or bribe. I don't have a quick way, so to speak, to end this one, but I guess you could trigger an ultimatum from the environmentalists, then not fulfill it, then there'll be a protest at each building which you could bribe or put down by the military. The From Night to Little Duck achievement is when you construct bridges in the game and the total number of grid markers used comes to 728 or more. So just construct enough bridges in the game and you will get this achievement. The Make Tropical Great Again achievement is where you finish a sandbox game without any import. This is not too difficult as long as you're not a reckless clicker. Just create a sandbox game with a task-based or treasury-based victory condition, stay in the colonial era, and win the game. The Watch the World Burn achievement is when you complete a sandbox game without constructing a fire station. Just like with the previous achievement, just create a sandbox game with a task-based or treasury-based victory condition, stay in the colonial era as that will generate no fires, and then win the game. The survivor achievement is where you win a sandbox game on a map with a volcano set with disasters to frequent. This is fairly simple, just set a volcano to frequent, 
set the victory conditions to something low or simple, and you should be able to accomplish this one easy. The one does not simply stage a coup is where you survive a military coup. I accomplish this by starting with a sandbox with unlimited money, upgrade the number of guards at the palace, then just start quick building a bunch of embassies until the military ultimatum. Discard the ultimatum and survive the coup to get this achievement. The double trouble achievement is when you have two ultimatums at the same time. This should be accomplished if you try for the my ways for the environmentalists and the one does not simply stage a coup with the military, so you should get this one by default. The governator achievement is where you remain a colonial governor for more than 30 years in a single game. This can be done by just not declaring independence and just keep extending the mandate time. Simple enough. The narcissist achievement is where you have to build 20 inspiring statues on the same map. Just create a sandbox game with unlimited money, then build your 20 statues. The Sublime Sublimital Supreme is where you have 90% of all residents supporting the same faction. The only way I could think of accomplishing this one was to start with a sandbox game in the colonial era with unlimited money. Then just start uh, removing the citizens from one of the factions and the indifferent people until 90% of the other side remains. This is actually a pain as there is a lot of clicking to complete this achievement. The Chain Gang achievement is where you generate 3500 in a month with convict labor. The quickest way I get this accomplishment is where I start a sandbox game with the max number of people and unlimited money, then build a bunch of prisons, changing each one of them to convict labor. Then just start arresting people until I fill every slot to get the 3500 a month. The team player is when you win a multiplayer game as a team. So as the description says, win as a team in a multiplayer game. The we don't have time for that achievement is where you don't hold an election for 20 years. This should, in theory, be accomplished when playing the missions like Battle Royale in easy mode. Just select the third option when the election prompt is pre presented that you don't have time for an election. Just wait 20 in-game years and this should be completed. The I owe you nothing achievement is where you get 50000 in your Swiss bank account without accepting a single broker request. This is a fairly easy, in my opinion, as you need 50000 in Battle Royale mission, so just build banks with slush fund work mode, use experimental ground treatment edict, and police station with the work mode of live and let live. Just don't accept any broker requests along the way and you should have this achievement. The trade is my trait achievement is where you have an active trade route for all trade licenses at the same time. So just start a sandbox game with unlimited money and just start exporting and importing until all slots are filled. The Unlonely Island achievement is where you reach a population of 1,000. If you really want to do this quick, just start a sandbox game with unlimited money, then build a whole bunch of plantations with quick build, then hire a bunch of workers. The next time the ship comes to dock, then you should get to your 1,000 population. The next series of achievements are when you complete building Great Wonders. For the French a Connection achievement, build the Statue of Liberty and Eiffel Tower at the same time. 
Curse of the Mummy have the Great Sphinx and Great Pyramids constructed at the same time. For Fairy Tale Come True have the Nushwaing Castle and the Taj Mahal constructed at the same time. The time for Wonders achievement is when you have four heists active at the same time. Once again, just start a sandbox with unlimited money, then just construct a Pirate Cove, Commando Garrison, Spy Academy, and Cyber Operations Center. Build up a few raid points, and then just pick each Great Wonder at the same time to get this achievement. The final achievement is Don't Panic. This is where you have a space mission end with a special event. This is where you construct a space program and then just keep launching space missions until you get a prompt that you found alien life. This happens about 10% of the time and it only happens once per map. Thank you for watching this accomplishment video for Tropico 6. If you like what you have seen in this video, please like it. If you have a question or want to share your experience, please leave a comment below and please consider subscribing. See you in the next video.